What is going on, everybody? I'm your host, Stacey Cole Morgan, and you are listening to the Morgan Man Sports Podcast here on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts here from. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are talking about my top three CDO qualifier week two matches that are happening this weekend. And also, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about the rumor of Grady Jarrett being a shot right now across the entire NFL. And what does it mean for this Atlanta Falcons as a team and the fan base? So without any further delay, let's go get straight into today's action. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get straight into this Atlanta Falcons news right here. So I have pulled up Cam Marino at Marino NFL on Twitter. So definitely give him a follow. He is part of the mental health advocate. He's an NFL analyst for playerprofile.com, occasional insight. So basically he tweets on February 7th of this year at 10.16 p.m. Falcons seem to be actively taking calls for defensive tackle Grady Jarrett. And some I've spoken to believe he is being shot right now across the league guys this is scary for the fan base and uh, that's my cat right there i just seen her on this video recording but this is scary for the fan base because a lot of people has invested into grady jarrett of being our top defensive tackle and he is because he's he's doing the most work out of the the entire defensive line for the atlanta falcons Yes, his numbers don't represent that, but he is putting in the work. He's putting in the time and effort more than anybody on that defensive line, I do believe. And for me to see this right here, again, now you got to take it with just a pinch of salt that this is just all speculation. This is rumors. Nothing's really official until the Atlanta Falcons Twitter page or a media press conference comes out on YouTube stating that yes, Grady Jarrett in, is in fact being traded to the Philadelphia Eagles, the Buccaneers, uh, the San Francisco 49ers, whoever. I will believe it until I see it because Grady Jarrett is a well-respected player on the field and off the field in the city of Atlanta. And I just cannot see Terry Fontenot honestly getting rid of a well-respected player they might try to talk him down in salary this coming contract negotiation because I believe his contract is up this after this coming season. So it's definitely it's definitely gonna be heartbreaking to see Grady Jarrett go because he works so damn hard to to make this team better, especially on that defensive line, but yet the Falcons organization don't want to give him no help. Yes, they went out and got Marlon Davidson back in the DQ Thomas Dimitrov era, but still, though, where's Marlon Davidson? He's not really that productive in this defensive scheme right now under Dean Pease outside of that pick six against Tom Brady, I believe it is. And but other than that, that's all you really hear about Marlon Davidson. You really need to scout in the free agency market and definitely get you some help in the draft. I'm hearing a lot of things about the draft saying that the draft should be mostly focused on offense. I don't think so. I think this draft really needs to be focused more so on the defense. Get this defense, you know, up to a top tier level and not like that mid to bottom tier level because that's where we've been since, what, 2017? Or no, I'm sorry, 2018 because 2017, I think we were the top 10 defense. So if we could go back to that, I would definitely take it any day of the week. But since 2018 to now, we have been the bottom of the barrel defense. Offense, I think we can definitely fix that with a few patches here and there. Definitely get that offensive line, you know, beefed up. You know, find you some help in the free agency. Maybe pick a player or two in the draft. But spend all your draft capital on this defense. This is where it's definitely going to help Grady Jarrett get that defensive line beefed up, give give Grady Jarrett a moment to breathe and actually get into the quarterback's phase. For secondary, definitely give A.J. Terrell some breathing space because he is running his ass off pretty much. He is our top cornerback, and he can't do it all by himself. He's still, still definitely got to have some help. 
But whenever it comes to A.J. Terrell, you could definitely count on him to get an interception or deflect that ball. So, guys, what do you think? Do you think Grady Jarrett will be shopped out of Atlanta this offseason to another team just for simply cap space? Or do you think Terry Fontenot can at least talk Grady Jarrett of maybe like a hometown discount at least? And say, hey, look, you know, I know your numbers weren't that great, but we're definitely going to help you this offseason. If you take a, a hometown discount, we will sign you for probably like another four or five more years. And you will definitely have your help on that defensive line. So let me, let me know in the comment section below here on TikTok and YouTube. I'm definitely posting the Atlanta Falcons portion of this podcast specifically on YouTube. You guys that are listening on YouTube definitely head over to my podcast to hear the full version or go to the Call of Duty League. But guys, for the podcast version that is listening for the top three CDO qualifier week two matches, here they are. 